Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Andrew Pestridge. welcome to another Microsoft Flight Simulator video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to install the Flight Sim properly and overcome hurdles that I see a lot of people in the community having lately. Um, there's real no help either to sort of install this thing. Um, it's, it's kind of a guesswork thing. So there's a lot of frustration and it's going to be like that for a while um, just because there is no definitive guide really that is available so a lot of people are just left running around in circles now there are two places that you could go for help one of them being the Zendesk forum for Microsoft Flight Simulator um, it's it's full of everything really so it's hard to navigate hard to find the specific thing that you want and it's answered by the community so you have to sift through a lot of stuff first to be able to get the thing that you want but it is a sort of instant sort of uh, encyclopedia I guess for knowledge if you don't know same with their discord server the Microsoft Flight Sim discord server again it's a knowledge place that's run by the community as well as moderators and administrators so the help you'll get instantly more instant than the forums but you might get just running around in circles for a while before you actually get that help this video is designed to be the updated version to some videos that i did two years ago when microsoft flight sim first came out in how to install the sim properly now i would suggest you go back and watch those videos first i'm going to put a link down in the description box below action what they say make sure that your pc is set up correctly before you even begin to install the sim because if it isn't set up correctly you're not going to be able to install the sim and there is no real help here in telling you how you need to install the sim but it needs to be done in a specific way before you're able to take full advantage of the sim and also this video is kind of designed to give you a better understanding for how that sim is being built and how it's going to be moving forward in the future to remove the frustration that you may be having with the sim and sort of go oh well forget this you know but don't forget forget Microsoft Flight Simulator is not the only sim available there is X-Plane there is P3D there is DCS World and FSX still available to use and they have a different installation method I would probably say the easiest one to install out of all the ones I've just mentioned is probably DCS World because you can buy that through Steam just like you can the Microsoft Flight Sim but it's a one-click installation and you're done same with X-Plane couple of clicks you're done P3D one click, two clicks, maybe three. There is a bit of a process, but you're done. Microsoft has you jumping through many different hoops. Um, and it's all down to really because it's from Microsoft and it's connected to the Xbox Game Pass. Even if you buy it through Steam, you still have to have your PC set up a certain way. So I haven't got it through Steam. I'm not gonna go through the steps required needed for Steam. This is if you have the Xbox Game Pass or you purchased it through that app. So the very first thing to do um, is like I said, make sure the Xbox Game Pass here is, is installed on your PC. If it requires any other components needed, they will pop up at the bottom here in the green bar. So I need voice, the game bar for voice chat. I actually don't want that because I'm not gonna be using it. So I just X that off. But if there are any re requirements that your Xbox Game Pass app for your PC is needed, it will tell you and then just quickly install those. Make sure that you have the most updated version of the Game Pass here. Um, and you can do that by opening up the Windows Microsoft Store. 
and making sure that this is also the most updated one if you go into your library down here you'll have all the updates you need so here we need some more updates although all most of these aren't actually needed I will update Disney plus um, I don't actually I will update the store make sure that's updated but all of these other things your phone link Windows camera calculator you don't well, update the calculator but you don't need any of these ones down here um, you don't need the weather you don't need web extensions uh, web image extension sniping tool whatever that is um, none of these need updating but the store definitely um, that's about it really um, and making sure you're also your windows is also kind of either up to date or with some sort of latest updates so I've obviously got some updates here that are missing but I <sighs> The, it, they're not required for the flight sim but this is another poor call to make sure that you have got the latest updates also making sure that your Microsoft account if you go to accounts here you that you're signed into your Microsoft account on your PC if you're signed into your local account and it's not linked to um, the Microsoft account when you go on the website here you'll see that this is my Microsoft account the outlook.com account um, and I am signed in on my PC as the outlook outlook.com account as well and I'm the administrator if this has a different email address to your Microsoft account you need to make sure you're signed into your correct Microsoft account on your PC as well as your Xbox app because if you're not then it, the installation won't go ahead because it won't confirm that you actually have the digital rights to run it um, so you've got to make sure that is make sure your Microsoft Store is up to date and that you have Windows Defender running as well um, this is a necessity for it to install correctly if it's not running if it's disabled it won't go through correctly there are a couple of other things that you can do to help it along if it's slowly downloading um, but that's been said in the previous video so I won't go over that again just watch the previous video um, once you've got it everything is up to date um, you can then literally you know go into your library or do game pass scroll down to where it will say Microsoft Flight Simulator and it will say install now this is just to install the installer it doesn't install the game when you first install this it literally will say install it'll ask you where do you want it installed and you can actually choose where to install it I myself have a Microsoft drive here so my Microsoft flight sim is in here so I know exactly where to go when I when I want to find out what where things are and I've also put a shortcut to my community folder here on my desktop so I can easily access any add-ons and sort of it, if I update the sim you want to remove your add-ons so you want to cut them out and literally you can just place them here in this folder um, and then put them back once you've updated and made sure that the sim is running fine um, that's just my preference though it's not something you have to do but when you do click install it'll ask you where you want to install it choose your location but you're only installing the installer which is about just under two gig worth of data so don't think you're installing the whole sim it's just the installer it's the portal that will get you inside the sim so let's let's boot the sim up um, one thing I'd say as well um, that you want to run before installing anything is a command prompt as administrator and run SFC forward slash scan now and what this will do is this will check your PC uh, your Windows 10 operating system it should have really only take three minutes and it will tell you if there's anything missing file wise or corrupt within Windows 10 or 11 um, I'm running Windows 10 I can't vouch for Windows 11 because I'm not running it myself so um, if you are running Windows 11 it might be slightly different but um, basically this this should tell you if you have any problems on your pc it is best to run this when you're not actually running anything so the fact that i'm, I'm now starting up the sim will kind of hinder this but it should only take three minutes so like i was saying before if it says here sign in with your microsoft account instead make sure you click that because you're signed into your local account which is your pc which might be different have a different email address than your microsoft account if it says sign up with a local account instead you are in the correct sort of windows 10 mode as it were you're signed in with the correct account because it is super important that your account account for your PC is the same account for your Microsoft Xbox app 
and your Microsoft account. Make sure that you're using the same email address and that you're using the same account because it's so easy to create a Microsoft account and then attach it to a different email address and therefore give you a different account. And it, that's one of the, the stumbling blocks, basically. Um, when this scan is complete, it will automatically correct or fix issues on your Windows 10 operating system. Um, you won't have to do anything. It will tell you if you've got any corrupt files or it will say it hasn't found anything and you're good to go. It is super imperative that you run the scan anytime you install a new uh, program on your PC because if there are Windows 10 problems, installing uh, whatever you install onto a PC with problems will only create more problems down the line. Now when you first click install and it installs the installer, it is then going to open before you get to this screen another screen and that is basically going to say um, to install the, um, the game itself and it's about 300 gig the installation so make sure you've got enough space um, the download speed is dependent on your internet connection at the end of the day when they first launched this the maximum speed you could get was like 50 megabytes and it was dead slow to do it took hours it took literally all day um, and if you didn't sort of limit your connection it could get bottlenecked and then it could take like three days to do now they've refined it i see that it goes up to like 200 megabytes it does download a lot quicker but it's still a lot of data to install but once you install you're not finished installing you've still got loads to do and i don't know if this is sort of a sobo's idea to sort of give you options but at the end of the day if you don't fully install the flight sim you're going to run into problems later on one thing to note about this flight sim is that it is an evolving flight sim it isn't actually finished so it's not an actual finished product it's still being worked on by the asobo and microsoft team it's still being updated with new features and it's not due to actually be finalized for another eight years so within that eight year time they're going to be continually pushing out updates i believe they have like two updates a month one for the world updates and then one as a feature sort of hotfix update the world updates basically they they concentrate on the mapping of the world and they're set in regions so you might get a usa update or a uk update or an australian update um, but they focus on various parts of the world and they enhance the visual look of the landscape um, and it doesn't really affect that much of your performance um, but it enhances and upgrades the visuals so don't rush out to buy all those add-ons because they are doing it as the uh, years go by then you get your feature and hotfix updates and these are really important performance updates they sort of align your the new world update um, to make sure it can still run on, on the PCs that they say it should be able to run on basically if you've bought a PC in the last three years you're good to go with this sim last five years you might be able to run it on moderate graphics settings anything older than seven years you're probably gonna struggle to run the sim so it's time to upgrade your graphics card your CPU your memory your motherboard try and get the best and the latest um, hardware and you will have the fewest problems moving forward um, it might take some money it might take some saving but trust me if you skimp out on your hardware and you just get what you can only afford like with one paycheck then you're going to be selling yourself short for your fun down the road save your money months at a time and get the best if you can do that you'll be laughing all the way to your flight sim <laughs> okay anyway so when you get to the screen it'll say update you just click the update button and it will run through the installation of the flight sim now once that's done you'll get to this screen don't go into the sim right because it hasn't fully installed there are two more locations that you now need to go in order to update the sim one is clicking on the profile and going to content manager and you will have a list here of things that are not installed especially if you click the not installed it will say here i've got two things here that need to install so we select all we select install and it will begin to install these things again how fast it happens is dependent on your internet connection i've got a one gig download connection so this should take seconds to do but install everything that says not installed it says also one update available so this here is an update available we'll click on that um, and that will be installed once these two finished um, 
it is super important that you install everything in the content manager these are essential updates and uh, installations required for the sim to run if you don't run this and then you jump into your sim and wonder why it's crashing well it's probably because you haven't finished fully installing the sim yet again none of this information is told to you it's kind of like you have to guess or you have to know so this is why i've created this video is to help the people who simply don't know or are not aware to make it easier for you to get into that flight sim faster it is a shame that there is no one manual but at the same time if there was it would have to be continually updated and if you did get a manual you wouldn't know if it is updated with the latest information or not because they're continually changing and evolving this sim they're continually adding new features new ways the way you install it now was not the way you installed it back when it first released and i dare say in another two years time it will have changed again so be mindful that this sim is always changing, always evolving, and it's never really finalized for another eight years time. And that is just a fact that Asobo and Microsoft have claimed to say that they are supporting this sim for the next eight years. Um, so we install those two now. It will always tell you here at a notification what is complete, what isn't. So when it's complete, you can just exit off there or you can just leave it. It don't make a difference. Um, but you can make sure everything is installed. And you'll the sort of things that you should be seeing are the world updates here. Um, there should be like seven of them currently as recording this video. There might be more. There'll be points of interest. There'll be planes. There'll be all sorts of stuff that you see here on the screen that you need to have installed. Now, at the end of the day, you don't have to install all the planes. You don't have to install all the regions. If you're only ever going to fly in America, then just install the American stuff. But I do recommend that you do install everything. Um, so that way you're not missing out on anything um it is a beefy installation it's about 350 gig plus by the time you've completely finished i recommend a two terabyte drive for the microsoft flight sim because the sim is just the core sim in the history of flight simulation no one has ever just flown the core sim you always go out and buy add-ons for airports for regions for airplanes and and that becomes about five times bigger than the sim itself so if the sim is 350 gig you can bet your bottom dollar that your add-ons are probably going to amount to about a terabyte of data in about five years time so trust me plan for the future get a two terabyte drive and um and go and do that so uh this is a uh this here it won't actually install um because it's not installed by the sim itself this is an external component so we need to go to here the fly-by-wire installer and this is only if you've installed the fly-by-wire airbus plane will this happen but it's actually saying i need to update the bridge here so it says that it's installed uh if we start it um maybe it should run we should allow the access yes and it's now starting it's now running so this should now be be done um select all that is done it's not installed but it it will show as installed next time you come in right so the net once you've done that once you've done all those updates go into the marketplace this is the third and final location where you're actually going to find all your um add-on uh, sort of update installations scroll down to where it says top freeware and you want to see all of them now at the end of the day you don't need these object libraries unless you buy the add-on so you don't need to worry about those but you've got the a310 you've got the dc3 you've got this weird spacecraft pelican thing you've got updates to cities for the different areas as well as airports garmin units free add-ons like the maverick pack that came when the film came out um and just make sure that all of these are now updated and installed as well again they won't do it by default you have to come in here and update it again these are world updates that go beyond what they give you in the content and these will appear once you start installing them they will then appear in your content manager once you begin that process obviously i have already installed them so here they are um but they're already all installed. So this is now the final installation. 
um, to do. Once you've done it, it'll, you should have nothing here for not installed. Obviously, this sim bridge here um, needs updating, but it, this will sort of, once I restart the sim, this will then disappear because the sim will recognize it as installed. Um, and that's then basically it. Then you can get into the, the sim and start flying once you've set up your options. Want to make sure you set up your options, which are a different video. This is constantly changing. Um, do it for your graphics card. What can your graphics card take? That's what you should be setting up for. And then you will have good uh, performance. Um, also, your controls, make sure you set these up correctly, which I haven't even done yet, so I need to do that. Um, and then obviously, the extra assistance things you can set these up how you want it's kind of personal preference on this one but once you've done all that you're then good to go and fly and remember this is a constantly evolving sim it's not going to be finalized so you're going to be constantly tweaking your settings every update you're going to be changing things until they finish the updates which i dare say will probably be never because once the feature updates and the world updates finish then it's performance and and tweaks according to the windows uh, operating system for every time there is an update to that system then they will amend the sim as well so that's just one thing to bear in mind with this is it's going to get monthly updates at least twice a month and each update not only changes the sim but can also make the entire marketplace void like if you uh, let's see if i went and bought this adventure tours hawaii and Adventum simulations don't update this for the latest update then I won't be able to use it ever again you know because it won't work with the latest version so just be bearing in mind the more add-ons you purchase the more problems you're introducing into your sim to make sure that these are getting updated along at the same time as the sim because if they don't then they won't work with the sim and then you'll lose those add-ons the the I mean, to be honest, most of the developers do, they're part of the beta team. They do make sure it's updated along with the sim. So you don't really have much to worry about there. But just when you update the sim, don't think that every add-on is going to work straight away. Give it a couple of days and then go and up see if there's updates available for your add-ons. Because until they do update, they may not work. They may work. You may be able to get you know perfect use out of them, but it's no guarantee. So, this is all, all things you just need to be mindful of when using the sim. It's it's a lot of fanning around, but at the end of the day, the sim can be really enjoying, uh, have a great enjoyment out of it. Once you get it going, working to your PC the way you want it, you can get a lot of fun out of this sim. Um, it is more for gamers, I would say, than serious flight professional you know simmers. Um, there are other simulators if you're looking for a professional approach to flight sim like P3D, X-Plane. But if you just want to laugh with your mates, this is perfect and it's an all-in-one. You don't really need add-ons. You can use the default if you want because it does look good. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, nobody keeps the default. They all want super duper looking graphics, the best looking planes, the best performing planes. They, they want it all. So people go and buy add-ons. But anyway that's hopefully helped you a little bit with this um in getting it up and running making sure that you do the steps before you install making sure that you finish the installation fully before you even head into the sim to make sure that it's set up correctly got to make sure that the xbox app is set up and updated correctly you've got to make sure your microsoft store is set up and you know updated correctly you've got to make sure your pc's account is in line with your microsoft account you gotta also drivers like don't think that just because you get the latest and greatest drivers that you're on a winning streak there sometimes having older drivers is actually more beneficial um, but with the Microsoft, the way it's updated, I would say latest drivers are more beneficial than out-of-date drivers. Um, but you can use this with older drivers. Just be mindful of the drivers. Don't put too much emphasis on your drivers. Um, but that's basically it. Um, I just wish there was more information for this, you know, to sort of help you install this, you know. And it doesn't matter what edition you buy. I only have the Game Pass version. It doesn't matter if you have, the, you know the best version the deluxe one or whatever um at the end of the day it's 
to be honest, you don't even need a deluxe one. You're just given a load more airports and planes you probably won't fly to or use because you're going to replace them all with third-party add-ons. So I won't worry too much about it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Now, one thing I do for any people, anybody who doesn't know on this channel is every single month I give away 50 euros of flight sim vouchers from Sim Market. So if you want to be in with a chance to win, if you're new to my channel, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment in any one of my Microsoft Flight videos. And at the end of the month, sort of last few days of the month, when I go live, I announce the winner for the giveaway and send you out the vouchers as a thank you for supporting me here on YouTube. Um, something after Christmas in the new year is we're going to be looking at Microsoft Flight Sim add-ons in the reviews um, for planes and airports and pretty much anything really. I'm also going to do a first look after two years of the sim once I've got it up and running fully the way I want it. Um, all this is coming in the new year so if you're, if you're using Microsoft Flight Simulator you're new to my channel, welcome. A lot of content coming down the pipeline for that. Doesn't mean I've moved away from P3D very much uh, on the flip of that I'm very much into P3D and I do a lot of flight sim for P3D and if that's something you want to be taking a look at as well as a professional flight simmer I have loads of helpful videos tutorials reviews concerning that sim check them out thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye bye